Mastering the Language of Power, Government and Policy Document Vocabulary. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to delve into a specialized area of formal English. Government and Policy Document Vocabulary. This is a crucial topic if you're planning to read, write, or comprehend formal texts in the domain of government and policy. So, let's get started. Government and policy document vocabulary refers to the specific set of words and phrases that are frequently used in official documents related to government and public policy. These words tend to be formal, precise, and often carry a specific legal or administrative meaning. They may include terms such as legislation, jurisdiction, policy, procedure, implement, regulation, and so on. Understanding this type of vocabulary is essential for a few reasons. Firstly, it will improve your comprehension of official documents, newspapers, or any text related to politics or law. Secondly, it will enhance your formal writing skills, especially if you're interested in fields like law, public administration, politics, or international relations. Lastly, it gives you an understanding of the subtle nuances of English, leading to overall improved language proficiency. Let's take a look at some common words and their meanings used in this context. 1. Legislation. A law or set of laws suggested by a government and made official by a parliament. 2. Jurisdiction. The authority given to a formal legal body to deal with and make judgments on legal matters. 3. Policy. A plan of action agreed or chosen by a political party, a business, etc. 4. Procedure. A series of actions conducted in a certain order or manner. 5. Implement. To make something that has been officially decided start to be used or happen. 6. Regulation. An official rule or the act of controlling something. Remember, the understanding of these words is not just about their literal meaning but also their usage in context. Now, it's time to practice. Try to construct sentences with these words. For example, the legislation will come into effect from the next fiscal year. Or, the new policy has been implemented to increase public safety. The more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become with this vocabulary. That's it for today, folks. Remember, Mastering formal vocabulary in the context of government and policy documents is a valuable skill that will help you not only understand formal documents better, but also communicate effectively in a variety of professional settings. We hope you found this video useful. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning!